So if you have a Nothing phone, then you most likely just upgraded to Nothing OS 3.0. Here, I'll show you some of my favorite Nothing OS Pro tips, like opening up apps from the lock screen and using ChatGPT as your assistant. So let's get into it. Opening up apps from the lock screen is very useful. And that's one thing that I don't like about Nothing OS is that they don't give us the ability to do that, like other Android implementations like Samsung's One UI. But I did find a workaround for this. I use this app called Tile Extension. And with this app, you can create custom quick settings, which you can place on your home screen and also place on your lock screen. This is an older app that I've used for years now. And while making this video, I came to find out that it's not on the Play Store anymore. So I had to download the APK from the internet. I'll put that link down below. There's a newer similar app called Quick Tiles, but I've been using Tile Extension for so long, I'm just gonna continue to use this app. So after downloading the application, open up the quick settings and then click the customization gear. Scroll all the way down to the bottom until you start seeing the Tile Extension options and then drag one of those options all the way to the top to enable it and then click save. Then go to the Tile Extension and tap it. So you can choose whatever you like as the custom tile. It could be a setting or it could be an app, but for me, I'm gonna choose app. So browse and then click the app that you want. Notice that you can change the icon for the custom tile and you can change the title. Here, I'm gonna choose the play button for YouTube and then click the check. You will see a pop-up saying that the shortcut is saved. It may take a couple of minutes for the quick tile to show up, but just be patient, it'll show up after about a minute or two. And there you have it. You have a newly customized quick setting title. And if you wanna add this to your home screen, just go ahead and long press on your home screen and then click add widget and then search for the quick style that you just created. And with nothing OS, you can add widgets to the lock screen. So that's what we're going to use. We just need to add a widget and add that same quick tile we just created. And there you have it. This is how you add any app that you want to the lock screen so that you can open it up straight from the lock screen. And with nothing OS, we can actually open up chat GPT straight from the lock screen as well. So with the widget on the lock screen, it doesn't just open up the chat GPT app, but it actually goes straight to the chat GPT assistant, which is pretty cool. So to do that, you just add the chat GPT widget to the lock screen and then make sure you choose the option for voice. And we can also use chat GPT by double tapping the power button. So go to the settings and then go to the correct menu where you see the options for the power button and then click chat GPT. And also click voice. So now we have two ways to get straight to the chat GPT assistant, which is pretty nice. One thing I find kind of annoying is that when we switch from light mode to dark mode, the wallpaper doesn't switch as well. So when we change that setting, we'll have dark and dim icons, but the wallpaper will still be light and bright. But we can change that with this app called Dual Wallpapers. With this app, we can choose two different wallpapers for the light mode and the dark mode, and the wallpapers will switch automatically every time you switch between the two. So you'll have the ability to pick the wallpaper for the lock screen and the home screen, and that's for light mode and dark mode. This is an amazing feature, and in my opinion, this should be the stock way to pick wallpapers on Android. By the way, if you're interested in these two wallpapers with the OLED fade toward the bottom, then check out the Enjoyment Wallpaper Pack linked down below. So with Nothing OS, you can add custom icons to the home screen without you having to download an extra custom launcher. And Nothing has their very own monochrome icon pack. But not every icon will be themed, and that's been a real issue for me, but there's a workaround for this. So make sure you go to the Play Store and manually download the Nothing icon pack. And after you do that, every single app you have installed will be themed. And another fun fact is Nothing OS gives us the option to only have the icons on the home screen themed leaving the apps in the app drawer stock and colorful. This is personally what I do, and I think that this is a great feature. So if you're using the monochrome home screen layout and you're using a Google search bar, the colors might not match up. And that's because the Google search bar has those friendly Google colors, but there is a way to change this. So we go to the Google search application, click the settings, and then click the customization toggle. From there, we can change the colors of the widget and we can even make the widget more transparent. So nothing phones have those glyph lights on the back and here's a cool game that utilizes those lights. 
It's just called Glyph Game and the link is down below. This is a bare bones, simple memory game. So when you start a game, you'll have to look at the glyph lights on the back and then you'll have to memorize the sequence of which light is lighting up and in what pattern. Then you'll flip the phone over and try to copy the exact same sequence without making any mistakes. It seems pretty easy, but after you get to about five lights, it does get a little bit difficult. But this is just a quick, cool game that utilizes the glyph lights on the back of your nothing phone. Here's another new application that utilizes the glyph lights pretty well. This is the Glyph Compass app. And this is another simple app that just shows you the north direction with the glyph lights on the back of your phone, which is pretty cool. And you have the option to view the compass on the screen, also giving neat different layouts. And this app follows that great nothing OS dot matrix look and aesthetic. So Nothing introduced shared widgets where you can share the same widget that you have on your home screen with your friends with Nothing OS devices. And the first widget is a shared photos widget, which is still in beta even after the official update. So you'll still need to use the squared photos widget to get the shared option. From there, they'll ask you to sign in and then you can add some photos to the widget and you can share that widget with your friends. And within that widget, you can even react to the photos and add some cool emojis. Nothing has introduced some community widgets, which are widgets made by us, the community. And the first one is this snake game widget. So we get a cool dot matrix themed snake game right on our home screen as a widget. And I believe that this is the first community widget of many to come. To get this, you just need to download the community widget application from the Play Store and you'll see the widget pop up in the widgets list. You may need to restart your device. So the Nothing Launcher already comes with some great Nothing OS widgets, but there are some extra widgets that you can download from the Play Store. And one of my favorites is the Nothing 2.0 KWGT widget pack. First, you'll need to download the KWGT application, and then you're open to download hundreds of widget packs. This application is one of the greatest things about Android. But if you're watching this video, you probably already know that. So this widget pack comes with some great Nothing theme widgets, but most importantly, the colors of the widgets are dynamic. So the colors will adapt to the colors of your wallpaper, which is very cool. And I think this is worth the price. So Nothing has come out with the official Nothing Gallery application, but you might not have got it when you updated your device. But I wanted to let you know that you can download the APK. The link to that is down below along with the installation instruction. This application has that great Nothing style and theme, and it's exactly what the fans were asking for and they delivered. It looks great and it's extremely smooth. With a new feature called AI Cutout, where you can cut out any object that you like from a specific photo. And Nothing has introduced that they'll come out with an AI AI upscaling feature, but that has not been released yet. So we're all fans of the dot matrix nothing theme. And I just wanted to let y'all know that there is a phone application that utilizes that same exact theme. It's called Endow. And this is a nothing phone dialer application that can replace your stock Google dollar app. And it recently has some updates to support glyph lights for when somebody is calling you. This dialer application has everything you need plus more like having notes for any specific contact that you like. So if you have a nothing phone, make sure you check out this application if you haven't already. So those were some of my favorite tips for Nothing OS. And if you would like to see some of my favorite Android applications, then click this video right here and I'll talk to y'all next time.